The year 2020 is fast approaching, and Hollywood's major studios have lined up a slew of projects to compete for your film-going dollar. Some of the upcoming releases on the calendar are highly anticipated sequels, but that isn't all we're expecting to see. The studios have also set up new adaptations of existing properties and all manner of would-be blockbusters, making for what should be an epic year at the movies. Excellent! So make room in that popcorn budget film fans, here are all the films in 2020. Bad Boys for Life. Bad Boys fans have patiently waited over 15 years for a third installment in the hit action series. Next year, the wait is finally over with the release of Bad Boys for Life, a sequel to Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2 that reunites Will Smith and Martin Lawrence as Miami cops Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett. The long-awaited sequel, which co-stars DJ Khaled, Vanessa Hudgens, and Jacob Scipio, wrapped filming in April of 2019. Birds of Prey, Margot Robbie's baseball bat-wielding Harley Quinn, was one of the few things DC fans liked about the spectacularly mediocre Suicide Squad. So it's not surprising she's the character who gets to come back and headline the upcoming movie with the biggest mouthful of a title. Harley's not traditionally affiliated with the all-female superhero team in the comics, but rumor has it she's left the Joker to go solo in Gotham City, which may have prompted a change of allegiances. Bloodshot. After grooting it up for Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy movies, Vin Diesel is shifting gears for a different sort of comic book film. The Fast and Furious actor will step into the lead role in Sony's ultra-violent Bloodshot movie. The film, which is being adapted from Valiant Comics' successful comic series, is about a mortally wounded soldier resurrected with cutting-edge nanotechnology and tasked with rounding up super-powered outcasts known as Harbingers. The comic premiered at Valiant in 1993, running for 110 issues with upward of 7.5 million copies sold. Now with the success of violent comics derived from films like Logan and Deadpool movies, Valiant and Sony will surely be striving for an R rating. Godzilla vs. Kong Film fans will finally get the answer to an age-old question in 2020, when Godzilla and King Kong face off on the big screen. Director Adam Wingard has already assured fans that his take on the two monsters will crown a definitive winner, unlike the 1962 film that first pit the two characters against each other. This will be the fourth entry in Legendary's Monsterverse, first established in 2014's Godzilla and further explored in Kong Skull Island. Godzilla King of the Monsters opened up that world even wider in 2019, bringing old favorites like Mothra and Rodan into the fray and setting the stage for this clash of the titans. Godzilla vs. Kong is the biggest project yet for Wingard. As if the collision of these two screens icons wasn't fan-pleasing enough, the movie will also feature an impressive assembly of human actors as well. Stranger Things' Millie Bobby Brown will reprise her King of the Monsters role, with Black Panther's Denai Guerrero also attached to Star. Mulan. Aside from owning Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar, the best thing about being Disney is that you have a massive back catalog of animated classics that you can remake in live action. So the latest cartoon to get the Beauty and the Beast, Dumbo, and Aladdin treatment is Mulan, the 1998 story of a young woman in Imperial China who pretends to be a man to join the army. There's still no confirmation yet on how faithful the upcoming movie will be to the original. The Disney Insider reports that the cast won't be singing songs from the animated version and that dragon sidekick Mushu will be replaced by a phoenix. The New Mutants We were supposed to have seen the New Mutants long ago. In fact, the X-Men spinoff was originally set to come out in April 2018, before both Deadpool 2 and X-Men Dark Phoenix, until reshoots and Disney buying Fox pushed it back to its current April 2020 birth. It's not usually a good sign when a film gets pushed back so much, but the official line is that Fox wants to make it even scarier. Yes, the word is that The New Mutants is putting a horror spin on the X-Men universe. Directed by Josh Boone, The New Mutants will follow a group of teen mutants trapped in a research facility against their will. They have to face up to their powers and their personal demons to survive and escape. Black Widow, on May 1st, 2020, Marvel Studios is set to release Black Widow, its 24th film in the beginning of the MCU's Phase 4. During the Marvel Hall H panel at 2019 San Diego Comic Con, the cast and crew of Black Widow discussed the film's official announcement, along with some story and character details. Chronologically, 
Black Widow will take place between the film's Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. As far as the plot goes, specific details are still being kept under wraps, but according to its cast, the film is going to be something of a departure from other Marvel properties. David Harbour, who plays the Red Guardian, spoke with Marvel after the panel and said, It feels like an espionage movie. It's got all these elements to it. Scarlett Johansson said, it's a little dirty, it's a little salty, it's bringing some realness to the Marvel Universe. Fast and Furious 9, with spin-off Hobbs and Shaw hogging the headlights this summer, the main series revs up its engine for the ninth time with regular director Justin Lin back behind the steering wheel. Alongside Lin stars Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez are returning. Jordana Brewster is back for the first time since her character Mia walked into the sunset with the late Paul Walker's Brian in Fast and Furious 7, while Diesel confirmed on Instagram that Mia and Brian's young son Brian Jr. will be making his debut. There's also an as yet unknown role for pro wrestler and Bumblebee scene stiller John Cena. Wonder Woman 1984 a sequel was pretty much inevitable, and after spinning the first movie in the First World War, we're picking up with Diana in 1984, and thanks to being immortal, she hasn't aged a day. This time around, she'll be facing the perils of the Cold War, as well as a new villain in the form of Kristen Wiig's Cheetah. Star Gail Gaddett and director Patty Jenkins are both back in action, as is Chris Pine, despite the fact that Steve Trevor didn't make it out of the first movie alive. Top Gun Maverick 34 years after the original Top Gun, Tom Cruise feels the need to go back to the role that made him the biggest movie star on the planet. This time around, Maverick is reportedly an instructor at the famous San Diego Flight School, and he's set to come into contact with trainee pilot Bradley Bradshaw, who just happens to be the son of Maverick's late co-pilot Goose. The first Top Gun was a glorious example of the 80s excess and style over substance. So don't expect the sequel to be a deep examination of a pilot's psyche. Meanwhile, the return of Val Kilmer as Iceman is a nice link to the original. Ghostbusters 2020 Director Jason Reitman announced via a teaser trailer in January that he's inherited the megaphone from his dad, original Ghostbusters director Ivan, for a movie Reitman Jr. has described as a continuation of the original franchise. That means the new movie will pick up decades after New York was terrorized by insurgents from the spirit world, meaning the unfairly maligned 2016 movie now sits alone in its own parallel timeline. Ghostbusters 2020 promises to have a very different feel to the four guys team up to fight ghost vibe of the original movies, and it looks like the surviving Ghostbusters cast will be back for the ride too. Sigourney Weaver confirmed in an interview with Parade that she's returning as Dana Barrett, alongside Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd, and we'd be very surprised if Ernie Hudson wasn't there as well. In other words, it's bad news for Ghost, but excellent news for fans. And for Ray Parker Jr., who's probably sitting there waiting for the royalty checks to start rolling in. Morbius. After the massive success of Venom, Sony's going full steam ahead on the Spider-Verse that may or may not be attached to the MCU. Morbius centers on another troubled anti-hero. This time, it's Michael Morbius, a scientist with a rare blood disorder whose experiments to find a cure end up giving him a form of vampirism. Jared Leto is playing the so-called living vampire, so expect impressive levels of commitment from an actor who famously went method playing for the Joker and Suicide Squad. Bill and Ted face the music. It's fair to say that the last three decades haven't panned out quite as many as expected. That's particularly true for William S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan, who are yet to fulfill their destinies by pinning the song that'll bring harmony to the universe. This long-awaited follow-up to Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey reunites stars Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves and a bunch of the supporting cast, including William Sadler as Death. Sadly, the passing of George Carling in 2008 means the duo won't be guided by their future BFF Rufus, but expect him to be lovingly recognized in what promises to be the silliest, most feel-good comedy of 2020. G.I. Joe Ever Vigilant Hasbro's Real American Heroes will return to the big screen in 2020 for G.I. Joe Ever Vigilant, although who will star in the action flick is still up in the air. Paramount is set to release the third film in the franchise seven years after the release of 2013's G.I. Joe Retaliation and 11 years after G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra. The studio is reportedly keen on getting Dwayne Johnson back to reprise his retaliation role as Roadblock. 
Ever Vigilant has been rumored to be a reboot that will kick off a Marvel-style Hasbro cinematic universe. No matter which route they go down, the franchise's past outings have combined action and adventure, and the third should be no exception. Eternals. Alongside the rest of the MCU Phase 4 projects, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige took to the stage at 2019 San Diego Comic Con to announce the Eternals, which will make its way to theaters on November 6, 2020. While little is known regarding the plot of Eternals, the film will be based on the cosmic Jack Kirby characters first introduced in the pages of Marvel Comics in 1976. According to Marvel, the Eternals are a race of godlike beings locked in a millennium-old conflict with the less evolved Deviants and their originators, the Celestials. They are immortals blessed with strange, sometimes monstrous powers. Eternals boast an all-star cast including Angelina Jolie, Richard Madden, and Salma Hayek. Which movie are you most excited to see in 2020? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to check out moviegasm.com. My name is Blaine, and we appreciate you sticking around until the end.